We saw an example of how to calculate rewards earned by a user using this formula. Next, I want to show you an example of calculating rewards earned by a user using this formula. However, before I do that, I first want to rewrite this equation so that when we go through an example of using this equation, the calculations will be easy. In particular, in this video, I want to prove two formulas. We define rj to be the reward per token from time i equals 0 all the way up to j minus 1. In certain cases, this equation can be simplified to this equation. So we'll prove this, and also we'll prove that summing from i equals k all the way up to n, summing once, is equal to n minus k plus 1. Using this fact, we'll derive this equation. So first, let's start with proving this equation. Let's define the summation of reward per token up to time j. For j equals 0, we'll say r of 0 is equal to 0. And for j greater than 0, we'll say r of j is equal to the summation from i equals 0 all the way up to j minus 1, summing the terms r divided by t of i. t of i is equal to the total state that time i. Now, when t of i is equal to some constant t for the time duration j of 0 to j, then we can write this formula as r of j is equal to r of j 0 plus r divided by t times the duration j minus j 0. Let's prove this formula. We will start with r of j from the definition that we defined over here. r of j is equal to the summation from i equals 0 to j minus 1 summing the terms r divided by t of i. Next, we will split the summation into two parts. We sum from i equals 0 to j0 minus 1. And then next, we sum from i equals j0 to j minus 1. All we're doing here is rewriting this summation into two parts. Summing from i equals 0 to j0 minus 1. And then summing from i equals j0 to j minus 1. By definition, the first summation is equal to r of j of 0. Plus, for the second summation, notice that t of i from i equals j0 to j minus 1 is a constant t. This is because we said over here that t of i is equal to a constant t for the duration j0 to all the way up to j. So, for this summation, t of i is a constant. This means that from this summation, we can pull out r divided by t, and we get this summation. Pulling out each of the terms inside the summation to the left of the summation, we get r divided by t, and summing 1 from i equals j of 0 to j minus 1. Next, we'll simplify this part of the equation, summing from i equals j of 0 to j minus 1, adding 1s. Well, in the general case, when we sum 1 from i equals k to all the way up to n, we get that this sum is equal to n minus k plus 1. We'll prove this formula later in the video. Let's apply this equation to this summation. Here, we start with a n, so n will be j minus 1, so that'll be j minus 1. Next, we'll need to subtract k, k is over here and k over here will be j of 0. So that will be minus j of 0. And lastly, we add a 1, so plus 1. Therefore, this summation will be equal to j minus 1 minus j 0 plus 1. Finally, we simplify this equation one last step, and we get this is equal to r of j of 0 plus r over t. And this summation will be equal to j minus 1 minus j0 plus 1, or simply this will be equal to j minus j0. And we have proven the fact that the reward per token r of j is equal to the summation from i equals 0 to j minus 1, adding the terms r divided by t of i, and when t of i is equal to some constant t in the interval j of 0 to j, then we can write this formula as r of j equals to r of j0 plus r over t, times the duration j minus j0. In the next example, when we calculate the amount of rewards earned by a user, we will need to compute this equation. But instead of calculating this, we will use this formula. So for the next part of the video, I'll prove this formula. Adding ones from i equals k to i equals n, this is equal to n minus k plus 1. Let's see why. Let's start with some simple examples and try to find a pattern for the summations. When we sum 1 from i equals k to k plus 1, we're basically counting these vertical ticks from k to k plus 1. So that would be k and k plus 1. So 1 plus 1 equals to 2. How about summing from i equals k to k plus 2? Again, we're counting the number of vertical ticks from k to k plus 2. 
So that will be 1, 2, and 3. And the summation is equal to 3. And likewise, when we count the number of these vertical ticks up to k plus 3, then that will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we get the summation from i equals k to k plus 3 is equal to 4. So here, observe the pattern that if we sum to k plus 1, then our summation is equal to 2. When we sum up to k plus 2, then our summation is equal to 3. And when we sum up to k plus 3, then our summation is equal to 4. Notice that the sum is always 1 greater than what we're summing up to, starting from k. In general, we observe that when we sum up to k plus i, then the sum is equal to i plus 1. When we sum 1 from i equals k to k plus i, then the total that we get back is i plus 1. When we continue this step all the way up to n, then what is this summation? What is the sum summing from i equals k all the way up to n? Well, in order to apply this observation to this equation, let's write n in terms of k. So notice that n is equal to k plus n minus k. Likewise over here, we'll rewrite n as k plus n minus k. Now observe that we can apply this formula to this equation. When we sum all the way up to k plus i, then we get that the total is equal to i plus 1. So here we will replace the i with n minus k. And this will be equal to, we replace the i that we see over here with n minus k. So that will be n minus k. And to that we add a 1. So plus 1. And that is our final result. Summing 1 from i equals k all the way up to n is equal to n minus k plus 1. And we got here by applying this formula. And that completes the proof for proving that reward per token, this summation r of j equals to from i equals 0 to j minus 1, summing r over t of i. When t of i is a constant in some duration j of 0 to j, then we can rewrite this formula in a simpler form being r of j of 0 plus r over t times the duration j minus j0. In the next video, we'll go over an example of calculating the rewards earned by users. And instead of using this formula, we'll be using this formula.